Say hi, Nari. Chi. <laughs> It's Rose. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. Today I'm going to try to get my life together. I have a very busy day trying to get my life together. You know, just get back on track. I was away for two and a half weeks and I've been back now for like a little over a week and I'm still kind of trying to, you know, get back into the swing of things. Lots to do. So today I'm going to show you what I'm eating and I want to make some quick and easy meals. 10 minute recipes because, you know, we are busy people. This little girl is so cute. Why is she so cute? Why are you so cute? <laughs> Isn't she the cutest thing you've ever seen? Flashback. While my coffee was brewing, I cleaned up my messy kitchen counter as always. <laughs> I feel like my kitchen counter is a metaphor for my life. When my kitchen counter is messy, my life is messy and it's usually messy. So I don't know what that says about my life anyways. So yeah, anytime I want to feel a little bit more put together, a little bit more, you know, organized, a little bit more like an adult, I'm like, okay, I need to do a little cleaning. <laughs> so that I don't feel like such a mess. Uh, doesn't that feel so good? This is the best part of cleaning, just the end result. And then I did some vacuuming, just some basic chores. I'm also boiling up some dish rags with water to get rid of the bacteria. My parents used to do this and now I do it. And now we're gonna make a super easy and very delicious breakfast burrito. This is a vegan eggless burrito, AKA a scrambled tofu burrito. I'm starting off with some red onions and I'm also gonna chop up some mushrooms. And really I just add in whatever I have in my fridge. And of course we're gonna add some oil on a pan and cook up the onions for a few minutes and then chuck in the mushrooms for another few minutes. And then we're going to crumble up the tofu. Oh, and I also added in some minced garlic. And of course, you should know the drill by now, but I am going to add in my tofu scramble seasoning mix, which I have a recipe for on my YouTube channel. So I will link that down below. This recipe is also included in my new ebook, No More Cabbage Soup. And it has some recipes that you can make with the scrambled tofu mix. That's not just scrambled tofu. So definitely check that out. Anyway, I like to add a generous amount of the scrambled tofu mix. And I also added in a little bit of Dijon mustard and ketchup into the scrambled tofu to add extra flavor. And let me just say, it was delicious. Now we're gonna chuck in some baby spinach because why not? Why not get some extra veggies in? And we just kind of mix it around until the spinach is wilted. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of lemon juice at the end here once the heat is turned off just to enhance the flavor and also the iron absorption. Usually when I cook, I do like to make multiple servings, at least two, if not more. So this time I made two servings. So of course I'm saving the rest for another day so that I can save myself the cooking time next time. Yay. So now we're ready to make the wrap. I am taking a tortilla wrap and I'm going to spread some refried beans on there. I just had some leftover in a container. So I'm just adding that on there and refried beans, guys, look, they are delicious, but God, the, the presentation, not so much. Anyways, we added in the scrambled tofu. We're going to add in some tomato. And then we are going to wrap this baby up. It's a nice fat breakfast burrito. Just the way I like it. 
And I'm going to eat my breakfast burrito with a side of salsa and also a little side of vegan plain coconut yogurt, which kind of reminds me of sour cream. Delicious. And I always like to toast my burrito. So I'm just doing that ever so slightly. And this is what I call burrito porn. Absolutely delicious. I'm having my burrito with a side of baby carrots as well, just to add in a few more veggies. And there is my super easy and delicious breakfast. Hi, Nettie. Ready for a walk? Oh, Nettie. Sit. Down. Good girl. Okay, let's go. Early morning walk. Sis? Hi, bye. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> you done? Are you done? Did you just play with somebody for a while? Is that why you're tired? <laughs> oh my, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Look at this view. What a gorgeous day. Hello. Good, how are you? Sorry I'm late. I had a lot of work to do this day. I was doing like bookkeeping and just like not fun things. But look at my face of concentration. I did not realize this is what I look like <laughs> when I'm concentrating. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not the ideal face, but you know, that's how I look like, I guess, when I'm, when I'm focusing. Are you relaxed? Okay, I need to make lunch. So I've been really into pasta salad lately. I feel like pasta salad is really good because, you know, I can eat my pasta, but I can add lots of veggies and stuff. So it's kind of like, like an actual salad, but it's like more satisfying than just a salad with just like vegetables. You know what I mean? So I am just gonna use macaroni, but I would recommend if you want to really bump up the protein, you can use a higher protein pasta. I'm just trying to use up, you know, the rest of this. All right, folks, here we have, well, I'm gonna add in some kale because I have this bag, this giant bag. Also, I have some broccoli, a tomato, pepperoncini, 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 red onion, green onion, cilantro, and parsley. So I've recently been really into adding in like fresh herbs into like salads and stuff. And I didn't realize, I don't know why I didn't realize how amazing it is to just add in some fresh herbs. So I'm adding that in, um, so time to drop. olives that have seeds in them should I add them in hmm it's kind of like hard to eat you know oh well I'll add a few in 
some kale. Do I need to massage this? Oh well, I'll just add it in. And I also have some leftover vegan feta. Oh my god, I've been really into this. This is the Vio Life vegan feta. It was my first time trying it. I was trying out a recipe, video coming soon. Yeah, so I got it and this is the last little bit left. I'm gonna add it in. I've been really into this. I honestly don't even remember what feta tastes like, but I think like, I think this tastes like feta. It has that like aftertaste of feta, I think. I actually really like it. So I'm gonna add that in. It adds like a lot of flavor and a, a little goes a long way, I find. So obviously you can make your own feta. You can add a different vegan cheese or leave out the vegan cheese and just add in something else. And of course for the protein, we gotta add in some chickpeas. Lots of chickpeas. Yay! Big salad. And you can basically do all the chopping while you're cooking the pasta. So it really is just a 10 minute recipe. Okay, so thanks to the recipe that is coming soon that I've tried, I've been really into adding in pistachios as well. We're just gonna add a little bit, okay? This is optional. Or any sort of nuts, like salted seeds, anything like that. Maybe a little more. Oh, pistachios. So good. bowl <laughs> clearly that's too much for this bowl to handle we're gonna keep the dressing pretty simple some dijon Ugh, do i have enough in here Ooh. Ooh. okay we're doing lemon juice so i'm gonna add i don't want to waste any of this dijon put a little lemon juice in there we're gonna shake it up i like to get every last bit okay no wasting in this household dijon i want to add a little of the pepperoncini juice i don't know we're just experimenting hmm, do i want to add a little vegan mayo maybe a little vegan mayo Ooh. it's really just a big salad with a little pasta in it well it's not a little pasta i, I think i made like two servings mix this well mix this well okay, let's try it Gonna add a little salt and pepper. Tiny bit more lemon juice. This is still only going to be two servings. I always like to make extra so that I can have it for leftovers. This is gonna be two servings, but it's gonna be a really big volume, so it's gonna take me a while to eat. All right, I'm gonna give it another taste. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, that looks so good. We're gonna eat this on the balcony because it is a beautiful day outside. Ooh, yay! I need to decorate my balcony. Oh my god. All right. Erika, I'll get you your lunch. Come on. Oh my god, that was so good, you guys. So, so good. So I am a little peckish. Guys, I've been working away. Nadi went home. She lives with my parents, if you guys don't know. Uh, but I'm going out for dinner in like three hours. So I don't want to eat like too much. So I'm going to make myself a little snack. So I'm going to have a little high protein snack. Here's the hack. So I've shown you guys this before, okay? But this is my high protein hack. So if you want to have cereal and you want to make it higher protein, all you got to do is... Mix it with, what, is this a little bit dirty? That's fine. Ah! Oh Lord. Mix it with a bit of protein powder. Let me just wipe this up. Oh, ah! Oh, guys. You know one of those days when like, you feel like nothing is going right? I'm having one of those days. I got some protein powder here. I'm using this one, Outcast. I worked with them a while ago. I still have some of their protein. I'm gonna add a scoop of that with the almond milk. Then we're just gonna shake it up. I wanna add some fruit, but I don't really have any fruit. Hmm. Have I got blueberries? I'm lazy. All right, I'm gonna eat some of these cacao cereal. So that's how you make any bowl of cereal. 
higher in protein. Just add in protein powder, it's that simple. It's one of those simple things that seem obvious when you do it the first time, but then you don't really think to do it. And that makes it extra chocolatey too. I feel like the reason why I like to add protein powder is because it just like makes it more satiating so that like I'm not hungry in like the next 30 minutes. Mmm. I swear it tastes better. Okay, it tastes like extra chocolatey. Mm-hmm. Mm. Snack break. All right, guys, I am ready now. I did change a little bit, put on a little bit of makeup, and I am about to go for dinner with a few friends that I haven't seen in a while. I haven't really done much other than just work on my computer, and also I did some cleaning. So my friend came over first before going out for dinner, and we each had a white claw. <laughs> Because, you know, you gotta offer a drink when you have a guest. Don't you have manners? Then we, of course, went out for pho. We got some veggie spring rolls. I also got a Sapporo beer because I had to continue the buzz. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, the veggie spring rolls came with this yummy, like, peanutty sort of dip. So I'm just enjoying that. And then, of course, I got some veggie pho. I added in some puffy tofu, which was very delicious. Lots of veggies in here. I love adding tons of bean sprouts into my pho. If you're not doing that, don't know what you are thinking. Don't know how you live your life, but you gotta add the bean sprouts in there. And can I just say, like, the puffy tofu added was an extra, like, $6. What is going on? Before the tofu, this dish was already $16 for, like, noodles and veggies? What? What is going on? All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for what I ate today. Sorry if it wasn't so, uh, there wasn't much action going on today. I've just been sitting in front of the computer and like cleaning the house and, you know, just doing kind of boring stuff. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, check out my brand new ebook, which is called No More Cabbage Soup. It is a weight loss recipes ebook full of tons and tons of recipes. And if you guys want more information on that, the link is down below. Check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.